Okay, today we're at the Potter Creek Trailhead. As can be seen by that sign, we're kind of near the highway, so there's noise, but yeah, there is Potter Creek Trailhead. This is the other end from Windy, so this is where you can end up if you start hiking for Windy, and I'm not sure how far it is between the two. Here I am continuing on the uh, Turnigan Arm Trail, and uh, do you see that fallen tree there? That's the bark saw strip because the moose stripped the bark in the winter. Um, it's all limited food supply. So certain trees, they, tri they strip the bark and eat it. Uh, but continuing our hike on Turnigan Arm Trail. So here I am at a lookout over Turnigan Arm. That what looks like mud and rock down there is actually just ice. Uh, covered in uh, silt and stuff from the, the water, but it is just ice. Sun over the ocean, that's uh, Cook Inlet, turning an arm, which goes out to the Pacific Ocean, which is we keep heading south, we get to Hawaii. Anyway, so here's my view from right now. All right, well, back to the hiking with the dogs. Once again, the everlasting trouble of moose on the trails. Oops, that's the dog barking. Here we go. Have to see if the moose moves or if we have to squeak by them. Okay, got the moose to move off the trail. Took a little encouraging, but we got her to move off the trail. And there she is. And I think the other one's last year's calf, and that's a mama. And she's hanging low. It's getting near time for her to calf. Uh, so she'll probably run that other calf off here in another month or so when she uh, has her babies. They usually have twins. Okay, the dog spotted another moose. Not sure if you can see it there. I will zoom in. And there's another moose down there. So, it's moose all over the place. Uh, one thing you should know is moose are the most dangerous creature in Alaska as they kill more humans than any other any other animal. It's not bears, it's moose. Okay, here we are at a tree that's fallen across the walkway. But notice that the moose has been stripping the bark. Oh, my dog's pulling me. And you can even see the teeth marks sometimes in the bark. But the moose has been hungry. Okay, I'm back at the parking lot and this area is a marsh come spring and all summer long. And it's a good place to spot moose, bear, and other wildlife. Now they got little signs here, but really the view is the marsh and the wildlife. There's a lot of waterfowl here in the summer. So we'll see videos like that when summer arrives.